Hello everyone, Kazo War here, and I'm going to be making a video on how to RNG abuse your trainer ID in a uh, 5th generation games. What you're going to do first is, um, first you need to have your profile set. If you don't have that set done, then there will be a annotation linking to the how to set this up video. So once you have that set up, you're going to want to go into 5th generation tools and click on this TID SID manipulation aka Pandora's box. So you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna select the parameters. I'm using my black version so I will select the black version game. You can use this to find a shiny spread or a shiny ID number for a Pacific PID. And you can use this to find a Pacific TID. You can use this one to find a Pacific SID and you can mix and match these. Like if you want a specific PID be shiny with this SID then you can do that. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do those, these two right here. They probably uh, This is probably the easiest one here because when you do two of them there's like almost no results but I did get lucky and I was able to find uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oops, 9 at a let's see this date the 6th and I believe it was uh, so I, just, I was doing this I was going through each month trying to find the specific one because I thought it would be pretty cool to have you know that kind of you know the this ID numbers that you know go up one at a time all the way to 0 to 9 and so you could click find seeds and it's going to take a little bit to search because it's searching every day in the month. And it only searches for a specific month and year. It's defaulted at 328 2011 and I just kept increasing it by um, each month. And I did eventually find it by the sixth month, which was only pretty much three searches. But I'm sure if you're looking for specific numbers like that, like both numbers, it might take a little bit to find one. And um, the MAC address does affect the seed, I believe, so you wouldn't find this ID number at this specific day and time because your MAC address will be different. So the initial frame is 28, and the um, frame I need to hit is 28, so I don't need to do anything to advance the frame, which was also lucky for me. If you do have a higher frame, which like 29 or the default goes up to 40, that means when the um, professor asks you what your um, name is and you enter your name and then she'll ask again so your name is you know the name you entered if you hit no it will advance the frame by one and then take you back to enter your name again so if you have to hit frame 29 you just say no once if you have to hit frame uh, 30 you hit no twice and you know so on and so forth um, the buttons here means I need to hold down start button at the start of the game until the Game Freak logo, then I can release it and start matching A. This, um, I'm not sure what this is, but I think this might mean if the starter is going to be shiny or not because the seed, I don't think this seed affects the, um, well, you know, after the seed and then you get your ID number, and then I guess the next random number in the uh, lineup would make your starter shiny or not. That's what I think that was there for, but it says false because, you know, most of the time it will be false. Okay, so I'm going to start up my DS here, and I'm going to enter this date and time. And I'm going to also bring up Eon Timer, which we need to uh, think here. Let's see, we need to hit 59 seconds. So I'm going to enter that there. So I need to hit the 6th to 17th in 2011. Yes, the date is currently correct because uh, the first shot of this doing this tutorial, I forgot to hold down start because I was probably babbling about something. So 23 hours, 46 minutes, and we're going to uh, hit 8 and press start at the exact same time here, like so. 
So now the counter is counting down. And once it hits zero seconds and zero milliseconds is when we need to start the game up. Um, in the options, you can have it set so that it will blink and also beep. I have it set to both. And what I do is I try to time the rhythm of the beep so that I hit A as soon as the last beep is being beeped and it usually works. I'm not sure you probably won't be able to hear it in this video because I'm only recording my microphone and I'm using headphones so you probably won't hear it but you will see the flash so I guess that's good enough. So we gotta wait until it gets all the way down. Actually before it hits down I'm gonna hold down the start button doing that here and I hit A as soon as the last beep and flash now I'm continuing to hold start Do not let go of start until you see the Game Freak logo and it's also heard from someone that it's best to wait until this star explodes before you let go of start and start matching A so that's what I'm doing here click on new game Hold down B and mash A to speed this wall of tech stuff up faster. And now you pick your gender and then you pick enter your name. And then hit OK. And then at this screen, if you need to advance frames, is when you hit no to go back. But since I don't, because my frame is the same as this frame, I'm going to hit A. Now each time you hit no, it advances by one. So if I hit no, then I would have went to frame 29. And then if I hit no again on the second one, I went to frame 30. So that's how you advance the frames there for that. So now I'm going to hold down B and mash A a couple times to get through all this text here. And if I did everything correctly, um, my trainer ID should say zero one two three four, and then you know, you know nine point nine out of ten. That secret ID number would also be five six seven eight nine. You you won't be able to tell it until later, but you know if that's correct, then that's also correct. So I have, to have more text here before I can check my ID number. Okay, we're going to open that up here, go into the trainer card, and we're going to flip it, and the number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that was pretty easy there. Um, so that's how you do that. Again, this is mostly used for finding a, a shiny spread for a flawless um, spread that you have. Um, I'm mostly going to be breeding, so I'm just going to, I just use these numbers for fun. Though, I would be, I, would, I am going to probably catch some Pokemon, but they probably won't be shining unless I can find a fall spread. So that's pretty much it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And the next video will be on how to abuse your starter. So, um, hope you guys enjoy that video as well.